Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. How y'all doing today? Hope you're having a great day. It is Thursday, so God bless you today. Hope you have a great day. It is the 19th, so we're getting close to the end of the month. Now, I wanted to talk to y'all today about the Arctic ox Oxalation. And let me explain to you what it means, okay? Because there's negative and positive phases. And right now, we're in a positive phase, which pretty much you'll see that the weather just goes from west to east, and it stays around center, okay? That, that means that all the cold, the polar air, it stays up north. Now, when we get into a negative phase, that's when we start getting into the troughs and the ridges, and it reaches way down south, uh, the cold air. It's able to come all the way down and really give problems as far down as Louisiana, even Florida. Now, I'm sure that we're going to be going into a negative phase uh, soon. Matter of fact, if you look at the Arct Arctic Oxalation, you'll see that it starts going down into a negative phase towards the end of November. But it really does go to negative about November 28th, somewhere around there. And it goes all the way to a negative one. That means it's pretty, pretty cold. And look, it's for a couple of days before it comes back up to where it'll start warming up. Let me show you what, 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 the, what this looks like. Now, this is your, your temperature anomaly for us, of course. And this is today. And as I play it, you can see that all the temperatures pretty much stay on an even pattern across the states. Nothing really reaches far south. That's because all the Arctic air is staying up north because we're in a positive phase right now. And this is for the 19th. This is at 9 o'clock p.m. You can see that it, it is kind of warm. The orange here, just to show you, the orange is the 60s and 70s. And then the red's the 32 to 40 degrees. But it's, the blue is very cold. That's 5, 12 degrees. That's mountains over there. But it's still very cold. This is the storm moving in. But that's not what I'm talking about on this video with the storm. I want to talk to you about... This polar air is going to reach all the way down south. Now, as we go around through our days, you see how it stays in a, a positive phase. It's all above. It's nothing really reaches way far south. And that's just a pattern that we're in right now. But if you fast forward it to the 27th and you play, you'll start to see that we. this is the negative phase that we're going into. And you'll see that this cold air starts reaching even further south. But the coldest day that I'm showing will be on the 28th. Now this does reach pretty pretty far down if you look at me. Look at that, that's all the way down to Louisiana. It's all the way down to Florida. And the temperatures that we're talking about, Florida is gonna be in the 50s. And everybody else is gonna be in the 40s, but it is gonna be 30 degrees or colder. I mean, it's even gonna be teens in the mountains and 20s and teens for us up here. But it's going to be very cold for a lot of people. And this is going to be for a while because this is going into the negative phase. And then as we go through the days and it gets out of that uh, negative phase and gets more back into a positive phase, uh, it stops going way south again. It just, the warm comes back in and then the cold stays above, uh, the, above the mid range, the mid Atlantic. It'll stay into the north. And this is that second dip that you saw in the oscillation. So the worst one was the 28th is what I'm showing. The 27th to the 28th is pretty bad. Uh, it, gets, it gets, matter of fact, so cold that it reaches that far down. And I don't know if we're going to stay uh, that way. It did show that the, the phase does stay down for a couple of days. And then it goes uh, back to normal, which is a good thing. But this is some very cold air that we do have coming. And especially... On the 28th, it looks like it is it is the worst. Uh, early morning, 28th, it reaches way down south. And we're talking 30s and 40 degrees temperatures. And even Florida being in the 50s, that is cold. Because believe me, when you're when you're from the south, you really feel those temperatures. It, it does make a quite a big difference. Now, this is all I wanted to talk to you about today was about this cold phase that is going to be coming to us. Let me play what we have today. But I will be updating on these storms that we're going to be getting because when we are when we get into a negative phase, uh, see a positive phase goes straight across and a negative phase will give it those deep uh, ridges and the deep troughs of cold air, cold polar air coming down. So I'm going to check the timing of it and see if we have some precipitation coming down with it or coming across with it. And if they meet up together, we can have some pretty serious winter storms. 
So I'll, I want to check and see exactly how our winner is going to go before we get deeply, deeply into it. Because I'm curious whether we, I'm, my, myself, is going to see any Christmas snow. I, me and my kids would love to see it. So I will check on that later. And I will be updating and letting everybody know what I find. So God bless you all today. I hope you do have a great day. I just want to let you know that we are having some cold air going way down south. And it looks like it's coming around the 26th through the 28th. So please prepare for it. Get jackets if you don't have them. Get your plants inside. Watch for your animals, please. Now, continuing on on my reading, I want to make sure that people are acknowledged and they know who Jesus Christ is because he's the most important name in the whole world and the whole universe. Amen. Now, yesterday was one. Today, we're going to be reading Matthew 2. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is that is, bo is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, and thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced in exceedingly great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream, they should not return to Herod. They departed into their own country another way. And when they departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night, and departed into Egypt and was there until the death of Herod. And it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth, and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coast thereof from two years old and under, according to the time, which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, In Ramah was there a voice heard, Lamentation and weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and would not be comforted because they are not. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel. For they are dead which sought the young child's life. And he arose and took the young child and his mother and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that, that Archelaus did reign in Judea in the room of his father Herod, he was afraid to go thither, notwithstanding, being warned of God in a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in the city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great Thursday. Stay positive. Stay good. Uh, and on a side note, 
I did listen to all of y'all, a lot of y'all that, that was talking to me, and y'all are correct. So I, I got rid of the video. I didn't want to put the wrong impressions on my channel because we all know that's not what I want to be about. So bless you all. Thank you for talking with me. All glory does go to God. Amen. God bless you guys. You have a great day.